All right, <clears throat> so I'm just giving you guys my personal experience from using Freelancer in the past and also using Upwork in the past. And telling you guys right now, when it comes to protecting you as a person who's providing the projects, the person who's spending money hiring people, from my experience, Freelancer protects you a lot more and a lot better than Upwork. That's just my personal experience. So, <clears throat> you know, most of the times, at least more than 50% of the times, <clears throat> you know, a lot of the, the developers on Freelancer or Upwork, they're legit. You know, they'll do what they say they'll do. At least that's been my experience. But <clears throat> here, I'll tell you right now, about four or five years ago, I was using Freelancer because, you know, most of the times... I had no problems, but I had one person right here, this woman right here, uh, you know, unfortunately, I hired her to do some work, and sometimes I paid her money up front because, you know, I thought she was just like any other freelancer will do, you know, she'll do what she says she'll do. And she didn't. So you can see I said, hey, you still didn't fix the email problem on my website. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I had complaints. And so here, you know, what, what you'll say, oh, please cancel the dispute you mentioned. And she said it was fixed. And I said, it just got fixed. And, you know, there, there are other things. So I put disputes. And what happened was, <clears throat> she had to close her own account. So yeah, she conned me, you know, she took some money from me. But anyway, she was forced to close her account because Freelancer will freeze her accounts from all the other previous accounts that she has that are currently going on, so she couldn't receive any money. And I remember at the time, I was not the only person who was... Um, filing a complaint so you see it says account closed okay she closed her account all right and that's right here digital media okay so <clears throat> after that experience from freelancer because of her i went to upwork all right and you know i had worked with other people from upwork and they were legit till i ran into this fucking guy Dipanshu Kumar. He's a scam artist from my experience. Just like her. Okay? The only difference is <clears throat> Upwork is not really protecting me. So I filed disputes and the way Freelancer did it was they, they froze all her accounts until I said she got the work done. And that's what forced her to just close her account because she knew that she was scamming me. And, and there was another person too who was, you know, putting a complaint. Here at Upwork, I filed a complaint and I told Upwork, hey, why don't you freeze his accounts, the other accounts he has, until he fixes my issue because I paid him up front. Okay, I made, an, I made a mistake. I should have learned from four or five years ago. But then I also figure, well, you know, the other developers I use on Upwork, they all have been legit up to this point. Maybe, you know, I figured this guy would be legit. But no, he's not. He's a scam artist as far as I'm concerned. He can't even fix PayPal issues. So, you know, I'm just letting you guys know as someone who actually invests his own money on development that... Freelancer will actually, from my experience, will protect you better than Upwork. Now, keep in mind, this was, you know, if you see, it was like four or five years ago. So, I don't know if Freelancer will still um, use the same techniques to force developers to finish their work. I don't know. But at least from my experience, like, like five years ago... Uh, way better way better than upwork right now upwork does not really protect you if you get scammed okay 
you would think Upwork were forced to punch Kumar to finish my website by at least letting me post something publicly so all the potential people who would look at his account will see my complaints, my dispute. But no, they won't even let me do that. Freelancer, Freelancer was awesome. They froze her account. Um, I think the dispute was displayed publicly, all that. So now, because of the lack of security from Upwork, I'm going to have to go back to Freelancer to finish this project. And I'm going to make multiple videos, as many videos as I can, as time goes on, to notify people and, you know, make sure you guys protect yourself. All right? So yeah, as of now, freelancer is the way to go. If you are the one who's actually spending your hard-earned money, you're the deve you are the project provider, you're the money provider. Well, freelancer, from my experience, is much, much, much better than Upwork. All right.